Hello and welcome to the video lecture on database performance tuning. Um, again, a, a, a big topic uh, that we don't get uh, into in any kind of depth uh, in, this, um, in this course. But realize that <clears throat> the performance of your database, the speed at which it runs, uh, its ability to recover um, its input-output speed uh, how, how it uses uh, its CPU, uh, its CPU um, application, tuning applications that make use of, uh, of your database. Uh, all of these are performance tuning uh, topics. Um, the installation itself, uh, the installation parameters, uh, installing uh, something like Oracle has an enormous number of installation parameters you can set. Uh, based on what you want that database to do. Um, how it uses memory, uh, how it uses disk storage space, uh, cache levels, um, how many background processes can run at any given point in time, uh, how is data archived um, to uh, improve performance. Uh, we've talked about performance as far as SQL is concerned. Um, how to stripe data across disks. Uh, how you deal with uh, heavily accessed files. Um, what kind of disks do you use? Uh, you know, you're going to use different speed and different types of disks depending on the kind of um, data interactions you have. Uh, for instance, uh, your states table, right? The, the table of the 50 states uh, is not going to get updated that often, so you might as well put that on a read-only disk. Um, that doesn't have to do any writing uh, processes um, and something like your you know your sales table uh, or your orders table uh, needs to be on a disk that is um, much better at doing uh, at writing than reading uh, things along that those lines uh, your CPU usage uh, all that kind of stuff um, is associated with database performance tuning Again, not going to get into uh, the nitty gritty of any of this. Uh, just understand that uh, database performance tuning uh, is a huge aspect of uh, database management systems.